evening everybody it's six o'clock in the evening and this is the first time i've picked up the camera sorry about that i had quite a long day today and very very early up it's up at 4 15 and when i got home i couldn't keep my eyes open so i had to go and have a sleep this is going to be very 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 short basically <laughs> very short the candle is lit uh, it's got to go to number 10 because it's 10 to, 10 tomorrow isn't it yeah so there's a lot of burning to do tonight a lot of burning that might not happen might have to finish it off tomorrow morning we're going to open the advent calendar i'm going to have a bath wash my hair then i'm going to have a very weird dinner because i've got no food in and i'm in my pjs and i cannot be bothered to leave my flat so i'm having a makeshift fried egg some uh, cavallo nero on the side a bit of parmesan shavings and i found some two dumplings in the freezer that I can zap as well. I know, I just can't be bothered to go outside. Update on the ASOS haul. The silver dress is going to go back. I'm not going to wear it. I know I won't wear it. I won't feel comfortable. I've got nowhere to wear it anyway. May as well go back. The jeans, unfortunately as well, they're going to go back because they're slightly too short, which is a real shame because I actually really like the shape of them. The dotty dress I'm going to keep and I'm still making my mind up about the jacket. I didn't even manage to try them on again today because I was just so tired. So let's open the advent calendar and cook my dindids. Looking for number nine. Oh, number nine is a tiny weeny one. A tiny weeny one. Let's see what's in here. Open, open. It is a hydrating mist toner. Provides instant moisture for thirsty skin exposed to the drying effects of the environment or air-conditioned spaces. Honestly, this advent calendar is so good for me. So the only thing that could be a problem with this little beaut is that it's rose, geranium and lavender. Geranium, I know, does not agree with me. It gives me a bit of a headache. Rose, I'm not massively keen on either. And lavender, I'm not hugely keen on either. Powerfully natural, it says. I can't read the ingredients. Look how tiny that is. Nobody can read those ingredients. <laughs> Unless you've got a massive magnifying glass. I can have a spritz. Let's have a spritz and find out. Shaky, shaky. It's very florally. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. If you're desperate for a little bit of moisture mist and you're not into florals, it's not too bad. It's not my my first choice. It might have to go into a little present box. This is definitely when I need a bath bomb. But I'm really tired. I just want to get in the bath and relax put one of those bath bombs in or a, a bath melt. I'm just trying to, I need to start making them. <sighs> I love having baths and being all clean and fresh. It's just the best. I just have to dry my hair get back into my PJs, cook my dinner, and go back to bed. It's like being on a hamster wheel. Does anybody else hate drying their hair? I hate drying my hair. It's on a par with having to get out of the car and get petrol. I hate that too. I wish they'd bring back the people who'd fill the car for you and take payment at the window. It'd be awesome. I know it's really lazy though, but it's just one of those things that's just such a faff, isn't it? Getting out and getting petrol and drying your hair. One of the most random suppers that I've made myself in a long time. Fried egg, pita bread, no, naan bread. <laughs> um, Cavallo Nero, these weird itsu dumplings and shavings of parmesan. That's all I've got in my fridge. Thankfully, it's quite yummy. Right, I have got to dry my hair. I hate dry my hair. I've got to dry my hair. And then I'm going to bed, so I need to sign off. I'm really sorry. I've got another 
early start tomorrow. I'm tired. I need to sleep. So I'm signing off. Sorry it was only five minutes long. I literally have done nothing since I got home. You've seen what I've done. <laughs> and that's it. I have quite a few days to myself after tomorrow. So let me know if you have any ideas of anything you'd like to see or for me to do. And I will consider it. Obviously, you know, can't have any day trips to France or anything like that. But, you know, if there's something particular that you want to see or you want me to go to, I will, I will think about it. Give me some ideas anyway. That would be lovely. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this very short day of Vlogmas and speak tomorrow. Good night.